machine unplugged. Basically, what happened is this air hose unclipped from its mooring, from its clip under there. And this deal was sitting here, bang, 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 wore a hole and split the deal. You can see a pretty good split. See it? It's open. So this is an air switch. As the machine fills with water, the air in the tube pushes on to the air switch. Well, if it's got a hole in my, like that, it's just going to keep filling with water, never get the signal to turn off. So what we're going to do is see if we have enough room to run the air switch to here. If not, I need a new air tube. So here's the air switch right here, so you can see it in the air tube. And we just don't have much room. So we need a new air tube. So we're going to connect it from this side. And we're going to slide this down, take this air tube out, and go replace it. Okay, went to the store and got a new hose. And what you're looking for is the inside diameter to be the same, so that it gets a nice strong connection. And then just kind of refeed it up and through. So going to make sure that we go through these clips. And in that way, everything oh, does what it's supposed to. So with this clip now, we can slide that clip on. Also go through this electrical tape, which is not any good anymore. this all through. There we go. And we'll leave some slack so when this moves around it doesn't go anywhere. And now we'll lift this up and clip this on in such a way that it keeps all that out of the path of the deal. Okay. So now we're going to feed this up and through. Oh gosh. That, that uh, clip is weak, so I'm going to need to do that clip last. But I'm going to feed this up through these other clips and up and through into the machine and reattach it right here for the, for the air switch. Okay, get this fed up and through. Okay. Here it is to our deal here. So that gets inserted there. There we go. We'll clean things up a little bit and that should be good to go. Now I'm going to add that final clip to hold that on. I'll tuck it behind this electrical one. There we go. And then we'll add that clip that fell down. Yeah. Guess we can strengthen up a little bit. There we go. There we go. Now we'll plug it back in and run it and make sure nothing overflows. Okay. So set this here. Make sure that's good. So that it is a common leak source. Make sure the hose is slipped off enough and it is. Okay. Now, rotate it to our start. And here's the float switch. Air switch. And before what happened is it just overflowed the bin, flowed on down, so should be good now. I'm probably going to need to plug in the disconnect for the lid switch. Test it. You can also use a jumper wire across the outer pots. The inside one is a ground. But for the fill portion, we can just make sure that it shuts off and does what it's supposed to do. And could zip tie this with a cable tie also to that deal. Yeah. See? Good here. And also tighten this one up a little bit. So it's a little tighter to the top part. Now we're 
good to go. Make sure it shuts off. Okay, there it is. It reached its fill level. We're set on small load. I'll reset it and we'll go for this for the large load and make sure it shuts off at the large load. But it's definitely doing what it's supposed to do. Shutting off like it should. Obviously it just was letting air out of the, the big hole before, so I'm in good shape now. So you can adjust this to turn it off the sensitivity a little lower if you wanted to, but that's good. Perfect height for a nice drill full of the done deal. That's the air switch hose. One's ready, 2020. You gotta be ready for the Lord's return. The Lord is gonna come for his bride anytime. Uh, Jesus came to seek and to save those that were lost. That was me. We've all missed the mark. Every person sinned and come short of the glory of God. But Jesus took the punishment that we rightfully deserve on himself at the cross, and he gives his righteousness to those that believe on him. So if you haven't put your trust in him, call out to him to save you. It's a gift of salvation. You can't earn it. He did it all on the cross, and he calls us to a loving relationship with him. So you are invited to be reconciled to God, something that was impossible. God is holy and our sin is separated, but without God, it was impossible. But God came to save us. He sent his son, Jesus, you know, again, he took all of our sin on the cross and uh, gave himself so that we could be justified in him. So call out to him, get into the Bible, into the word and start to grow so that you're protected from deception. There's strong delusions out there, strong deception. And Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He's the only way to the Father. He's the only way to God. So don't don't get tripped up or tricked. And don't don't miss out on what is yours through Jesus. You know, call out to him today. Don't wait. Time is short. He's going to return for his people. And uh, if you missed it, and you find yourself in the tribulation, call out to Jesus to save you. Uh, you likely die for your faith, but still, like, you have eternal life. The tribulation only lasts seven years, so if you find yourself in part of it, you know, it's not going to be long before everything's finished anyway. Seven years is not a long time, although in the tribulation it's going to seem like a long time. But be faithful unto death. That means trusting in Jesus all the way. Um, there's probably not going to be a lot of food. Um, and it's going to be a difficult situation, but uh, you, can, you can still have eternal life through Jesus because, again, he took all of our sin on himself at the cross. So put your trust in him today so you don't miss out and uh, so that you have the covering because he is the lamb, the lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. All right, stay safe out there. God bless. God bless you.